Today, we're going to have a little bit of a whimsical look at using SolidWorks. We're going to be creating an Easter egg and then decorating it. And along the way, we're going to learn some fundamental items in the SolidWorks software. But to start with, to make the shape of the egg, I'm going to go to my front plane and create a sketch. And I'm going to use a new tool from SolidWorks 2014 called Style Spline. Uh, style spline is basically making a curve, Bezier curve method, um, where I'm going to be creating spans of construction geometry lines, and then that, those spans will control the um, curve that I make. So what I'll do is create my curve something like one point for the first end of the curve, a point here, and then I'll put a third point here at the origin. I'll escape and the curve is finished. Let's explore the controls we have for this curve. Besides the endpoints, you will see that I can adjust the curve with these construction lines. If I select this line and drag it, or select this line and drag it, the curve adjusts to the new positions relative to these construction lines. To make the shape I want to make, I'm going to want the curve to come all the way to a effectively horizontal position, at least these lines will be horizontal, so that the egg is tangent on both sides of the revolve I'm going to create. In order for me to be able to get that geometry, I'm going to need more than just two lines to control the curve. Because if I make this line horizontal, I can't make the, this line horizontal as well. I'll need another element for that. So what I will do is right click on the style spline, choose to insert control vertex, and then place a point on one of my construction spans. Escape out of there, and now I have another point to control. At this stage, I'll make this construction line horizontal, make this construction line horizontal, and then adjust the points till I get what looks to me like a pretty good shape for an egg. A little wider on the bottom, narrow on the top. That should do. I'm going to revolve this, so I'll create a line to close this up. And then features revolve about that center. I can accept it. And there is a quick shape for my egg. If I want to adjust it, if it's too nar tall or narrow or pointy, all I need to do is edit the sketch of the revolve and adjust points in my sketch. I think I'll set this to be vertical. Now this egg is shorter and more squat. Again, simply edit the sketch, modify the points on the half egg shape, either directly or adjust the curvature by grabbing the control handles on these construction lines that control the curvature. And there is a pretty good, simple to do egg shape. Now to decorate our egg, I'm going to go to my Appearances, Scenes, and Decals tab on my task pane. And let's choose something relatively simple. Uh, water, gemstones, sky, liquid, miscellaneous. I could pick some kind of a, make it look like some kind of a texture. I think what I'm going to do is just say it's a solid item and then pick a color like this solid blue. Double click on this to apply that blue color to our egg. Well, it's a little darker than I'd like it to be. So how do we modify the color or any other factor in an appearance for our model? Well, on our feature manager tree above at the top, we'll see a number of tabs. This one is the display manager tab. And of the tab buttons here underneath, one of them is View Appearances, and there is our blue. I will right-click on that, edit the appearance, 
And I think I will just go to basic and I will pick a lighter shade of blue, maybe something like that or something more pastel like that. And I can also mix a color from in here. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, it's a little shinier than I like it to be. So I'm going to go to the advanced tab and I'm going to go to surface finish and set this to uh, none for surface finish. Let's add any surface finish to it. Under illumination, I think I'm going to kick down specularity so it doesn't appear with as big a shiny spot. And then I can also look at um, some of the other factors on here, like specular amount. I will dull that a little bit, drag that down. So I really don't want it to appear really shiny at all. All right, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and accept it. So now we have our egg colored robin's egg kind of blue. Of course, we want to decorate it. Maybe I want to decorate it by putting on some kind of a design. How about, say, a SolidWorks logo? In our appearances, scenes, and decals, I will scroll to the decal section. There is a folder called logos, and this comes with SolidWorks when you first install it. And one of the logos on here is the Let's Go Design logo for SolidWorks. I'm going to use that on my egg by simply dragging this logo, this decal, and dropping it onto the face of my egg. You can see in the preview that we're getting the logo, the decal, mapping to the surface of the egg. Right now, it is set under mapping as a cylindrical, which is sim close enough for what we want here. And then we're also setting it up so that by default, that's going to wrap all the way around. Now, I could adjust this by dragging, for example, the corners of this frame and making it a smaller decal. I want to make sure it goes all the way around and not any further. I could set up that I want to fit the width to selection. And the selection is the face that I picked, so it will always match the face, even if I make the egg bigger or smaller. And that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and accept that. And now we have our SolidWorks Easter egg with the blue pastel color and the SolidWorks logo as a decal. If I wanted the decal to be something other than the SolidWorks logo, and I didn't want to redo the decal or remap it, I could simply go to the little button here for View Decals, find the decal in our list, right-click on the logo decal and edit it, and there is a section here to browse so I could pick a different image for our decal. I'll go ahead and do that. Browse. Go to my picture library. And I just have a standard TIFF file, which I made using Microsoft Paint for some Easter-like pastel colors for stripes that I might put on my egg. I'll go ahead and choose that as the new image for our decal. And again, I can adjust the height or di you know, width in the corners. Let me go back to the mapping section here. Right now, it's fit width to selection. I can make adjustments to that and then make it smaller, make it wider, scale it up. It does have the aspect ratio fixed right now. So if I want to go all the way around, because right now it's not, I could say fit width to selection, turn off fixed aspect ratio, in which case I could Swish this down and make them thinner stripes or make them wider stripes, like so. I could even do things like, well, I want the purple to show through but not the green. I want the green to be invisible so the blue comes behind it. In a situation like that, I go back to my image tab and I could set a mask, much like some of you might be familiar with in, say, Adobe Photoshop and other types of editing products like that. Under image mask, I'm going to say selective color. Use the eyedropper and pick this color to mask out, and then that color doesn't show anymore, and the egg shows through. But I do want the green, so I'm going to go back to saying no mask and accept that. And so now I have my Easter egg with a different decal representing stripes painted on the Easter egg.
I could certainly make copies of this part and modify the image for the decal I've laid out, change the color, change the sizes, slightly different eggs, and have a whole basket of these if I wanted to. So hopefully a fun little exercise for you that shows how the style spline command works and how we can use that to make a pretty simple and quick egg shape as well as using appearances and decals to color our egg.